Hello, and welcome to the Electric Training video series. This video will cover the difference between automated and interactive modes within Electra. Please note that in the previous executing a test video, you saw how measurements are made in the automated mode. This video will show you how to measure those frequency points, or completely new ones, in an interactive manner where you can control measurement time, bandwidth, antenna height, and more. If you're following along from the executing a test video, we're actually going to rerun some of the testing so that you can take full advantage of interactive mode. At this point, we're going to toggle into interactive mode by clicking the hand icon. Now shift your attention to the measurements window in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Here you'll see the detector that we had enabled previously. Max peak is already set. You can change the detector with the drop down menu or add additional detectors up to a maximum of four. You can toggle between max hold and clear right for traces, and you'll also see this portion on the right becomes a bar graph display to show the amplitude of each detector used at the frequency displayed at the top of the screen. You can also open up the tabs that are currently minimized on the left toolbar. For example, accessories control summary, turntable, and antenna. You can pin them into view by clicking this pin icon. If you select the antenna or turntable in the control summary window, the window below toggles between the two devices. You'll see that everything is currently grayed out in the turntable and antenna windows. Once we have started interactive measurement mode, you can use the buttons to perform measurements. Let's do this now by clicking the button just to the right of the hand icon, which looks like a speedometer. Now we will also click simulate again as we did in the previous video. You'll see data is being processed in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, which is being taken at the first frequency in the critical points table. We will select the turntable from the accessories control summary and program in 90 degrees. And then you can either select the button to the left to go there slowly, or you can go fast using the button underneath. The speeds used are in these windows to the right. For this video, we will go there slowly using the button to the left. As we hit it, you will see an adjustment graphic open, which shows the data as the turntable moves in terms of the detectors we defined. Once it's in the new position, the bar graph will begin measuring again. If you want to reset the max hold, click this arrow button. As a side note, if you want to change the positioning of your antenna, it's done in a similar manner to what we just did with the turntable. If you want to append the data at the current position to the final results table, hit the record button at the top right you'll see the data we have taken has been added to the table. Now, if you wanted to adjust things like measurement bandwidth or measurement time, you could hit the pause button, and the previously grayed out settings in the parameter window are changeable now. Let's select 200 milliseconds measurement time. Now we will hit the start measurement button again, and we can click here to move to the next frequency in the critical points table. If you want to use an arbitrary frequency or different table, Pause the measurement once more and change the source and the frequency control. As an example, we'll choose arbitrary and go to the next frequency. Then we'll start the measurement once more and record to take the data point. As a note, the row in bold in the final results table is the active measurement. As you see here, we'll change the frequency one more time and you can see the frequency change. This concludes the training video on making measurements via automated and interactive modes in Electra. If you're following along, the next video will cover saving and recalling results.